Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this training session, we're going to take a look at the rectangle tool in Corel Draw. Now the rectangle tool is a dynamic and interactive shape tool in Corel Draw. And the corners are dynamic and have options. You can have a rounded corner, a scalped corner, or a camphered corner. You can draw rectangles and perfect squares. To get started, I'll scroll down here and we'll get some room here. We'll come over to the toolbox, come down to the rectangle tool, left click and select that. To create a basic rectangle, just left click, hold down and pull from the left to the right with your mouse button. I'll come up here to the property bar and change that to a three point outline. Now I have some options to work with here. I have my corner radiuses, which I can work with here in the properties bar. If I want to make this 0 0.15 inches, I'll just hit 1.5, hit enter. And you see that'll be applied to all four of the corner radiuses in the rectangle. I can have a rounded corner, a scalloped corner, and a camphered corner. I'll go back to a round corner. Now I can do this in the property bar, but I can also do this interactively. If I have enable node tracking turned on, I come down here, my rectangle tool hovering over the node, over the rounded corner will change to the shape tool. Left click, hold down, and I can dynamically interactively change those corners. Now this looks more like an oval or a track and field oval left click and bring this back over this way you can see my values changing and they're all changing equally now if i want to change one corner differently from the other i'll hold down control and shift and i'm working on just one of the corners that's shift and control i'll hit control z and go back so those are the fundamentals of the interactivity of the rectangle tool I'm going to, actually, you know what? I've got this selected, I'll just delete this. Now to create a perfect square, all you do is hold down the control key on my keyboard, left click, pull from the left to the right, and that's a perfect square. And I can tell that that's perfect by the object size here. They are equal. Now that's being created from the left to the right as I pull my mouse. I'll delete that. If I hold down shift and control, I'll create a perfect square from the center point. I'll change that to a three point outline and then I could go left click, hold down and make adjustments to my corners and make it into a circle if I wanted to. So you can see how that works and I'll hit control Z and go back. So working with the hotkeys, we can do things differently in the way in which we create rectangles and squares in Corel Draw. And all of these hotkeys are available in the download document from advancedtshirts.com. With this selected, I'll just go ahead and hit the delete key to delete that. Let's take a look at doing a very simple rectangle trace. I'm going to hit my space bar, go back to the pick tool. I'll take this bitmap and duplicate that here one time. And I'll have this here on the left for reference. Right click, left, holding down the left mouse button, duplicate that again. Then I'll right click and select lock object. Push forward with my center mouse wheel to zoom in. 
go to my rectangle tool, start here right in the center between the two lines, left click, hold down, and we want to center that right up there, and I want that right in the center, just like that. I'll change this to a red with a right click in the color palette. I'm going to go to the Object Properties Docker, go to Outline, and we'll change this to, let's say, 3.0. And that's good for now. And come over here and stretch this out just a little bit there. And just dial that in a hair, and that'll be good. So there's the starting rectangle. Now I want to change this to round corners, because that's what I have in the graphic. Next thing I want to do is create a perfect square, so I'll just hold down Shift and Control and create that from the center. Come and click in the center of the rectangle, because if I click someplace else, I'm just going to start making another rectangle. I'll hit Control z to undo that, and then I'll click on the line. See, if I click on the line of the object, it's almost like working with the Pick tool. Then I'll come to the center, and you can see I go to the Move handle, Click again, and that'll change me to the rotate and skew mode. I'll come up here and start rotating, holding down control to constrain, and I'll rotate that to 45 degrees. I'll come here and click on this rectangle. I can see this is 0 0.861 inches wide. I'll highlight this, then I'll hit control C to copy it. I'll come back and select this object, go back here to the object size, and I'll hit Control V and paste that in, then I'll hit Enter. Then I'll hold down Shift, and I'll select this rectangle that has the, I believe it's three-point red outline. And with both of them selected, I'll do the alignment, I'll hit the C key, and that will center them. Now, I'm working without the pick tool. If I was working with the pick tool, I'd be doing the same thing, but I don't want to get the pick tool. I want to just keep working in the rectangle tool because that's what I'm working with for everything in this trace. Now, the next thing I want to do is click off. I'll select this object. Come to the center handle because if I go over here and left click, I'm just going to start creating another rectangle. I'll hit Control Z. So let's select from the line of the rectangle, and that will be like selecting it with the pick tool. I'll come to the center X, that'll change to the move tool. Hold down control, and I'll constrain that right down to those centers. Then I'll come over and right click to change that to a red also. Then I'll come here and select the other rectangle then I'll right click, hold down, hover over the other rectangle on top that I rotated, holding down my right mouse button. I'll release that, copy outline here. Now you can see I brought that right there. Then I'll zoom in. I want to make sure that those are correct on the corners. And they are, they look very good. And if they weren't, then you can see I didn't get selection on the line. I started creating a rectangle. I'll hit Control Z, click here. Now I've got that selected. And you can see I can't move that. Why? Because I'm not on the center point. I'll hit Control Z. I'll select this. And if I wasn't in a good position, I can come in here and I'll hold down. Actually, I'll just click over here a little bit so we can see this. Go to the center point and I can move this up, and now it's out of place. So I want to come right into the center of that line so that this corner is nice and smooth and rounded. So there is the one rectangle, and here's the top of the envelope, and here's the seam coming down. Now I'm going to need to create the page and the lines that are coming out of the envelope icon. To do that, I'll zoom in, still in my rectangle tool, go about to the center right here, left click hold down drag i want to go beneath the bottom of the envelope area here because i'm going to trim this bring this back to the center which is right about there and i'll bring this up just a little bit there not too much i will 
right click here on the line to select this rectangle now I still have the rectangle tool so I'll come over here to this rectangle left click on the line select that then right click hold down bring that over my other rectangle wait for the cursor to change release and copy outline here and now that's in position I can go to the center handle here but I got the wrong one I want to select this rectangle go to the center and just bring this up in here just a little bit and just position that right there and that'll be fine now I could also hold down shift and click on this rectangle now I've got them both hit the C key and center them so now I've got all of these set up here I'll pull back and zoom out the next thing I want to do is work with my Bezier tool and some other things so I'm going to hit my space bar to go back to the pick tool I'll lasso all of these that's three rectangles or objects on layer one then I'll hit control shift Q to convert everything to objects in other words I'm converting the outlines to objects right here object convert outline to object now the next thing that I want to do is do some trimming here so with this object here I want to trim this so go to the bezier tool and I'll just create a node here one here one here another one here and I'm creating a shape that I can trim the letter in the envelope with so with this selected I'll hold down shift and select the letter object and then I'll come up here and click on trim or even better yet let's do back minus front and that'll delete that and now I have that set the next thing I'll do is I'll take this object and I'm going to hold down shift and then I'm going to trim the letter object and you can see that now I'll zoom in you can see these nodes here now I've got two options here I could right click and break curve apart or and I'll click off and we could just delete this by breaking that apart I'll hit control Z two times to go back or I could go to my shape tool lasso these nodes and delete those and you can see how that would work a little different two different ways to do that then I'll take this holding down my shift key select this remember last object selected and hit trim now I can see these objects here now I could break apart or go with my shape tool and just lasso these nodes and hit the delete key and delete them then I'll go back to my rectangle tool zoom in here we'll create a rectangle out to the edge of the left hand side all the way over to the edge of the right hand side of this rounded shape for the lines in the letter go and pull back our corners as rounded and create that shape then I'll fill that shape with red for now left click in the color palette and then right click in the X to remove the outline then with the rectangle tool I'll go to the center so I change the move tool left click hold down constrain to constrain my motion horizontally come right here and then well I made a mistake there I want to hit control Z and go back I need to left click hold down constrain right click one time to duplicate that then bring that here and then I'll hit control R to repeat that and now I have the envelope shape I'll hit the spacebar to go back to my pick tool right click on this bitmap I know that I locked it I'll unlock it then I'll delete that then I'll lasso and select everything here come up to the multiple object property bar and select weld now I've traced the icon to a vector object and I can fill that with a black and it'll be scalable to any size working with the rectangle tool and the other tools in Corel Draw then I'll zoom out and we'll take a look at a very simple design here 
and I'm going to zoom right in on that. And we see these designs very often. I'm going to go back to the pick tool here. Property of XXL, etc. Well, to create the XXL element, all you need to do is create a rectangle, then go and round the corners, and we've created that element. So we've looked at the rectangle tool, how to work with it, some of the things that we can do with it. We'll wrap here for the rectangle tool, and we'll continue in our next video session.